Hello everyone, it's Shamila here and um, I'm so excited to be able to share with you my project for the Celebrate Bon Appetit collection. Oh my goodness, I can't begin to say how excited I was when I saw the, um, the initial images of the designs because I've always wanted to do a recipe folio. Um, I had purchased several other pages before this and um, never ever used them so it was really cool that this month's project could be a recipe folio um, the great thing about this collection as well is you are getting if you're buying I think the bulk pack there is um, a little album assembly instructions with your chipboard pieces and your um, looks like these pages in here as well I haven't opened mine yet and then on the flip side of your cover sheet we have um, the actual album cover with some borders and stuff um, which is great so you get two projects for the price of one this time round okay I was on the lookout for a suitable folio for this project um, and I must say I looked at several options and I finally settled on something which I purchased from Paper Phenomenon um, if you're not familiar with her the lady's name is Kathy Orta King or Kathy King as she goes by now um, she has got the most amazing tutorials and the good thing is at the moment from now um, until I think it's the 26th of December 2019 there's a 50% discount on all her um, tutorials and she has a daily deal so every day there's a different deal and I think it goes up until either Black Friday or the 26th of December where there's a 70% off everything or every 70% off one item so every day the item changes um, needless to say I have invested in a few I love her tutorials okay so this is based on hers I deviated slightly um, to accommodate all my little bits and pieces that I wanted to add to it um, yeah so let me let me show you what I um, ended up doing. Okay, so this is one of the, the papers in the collection. And um, I opted to use it for my cover. It is this one here. And um, I really love the idea and this is also one of Kathy's signature styles is to actually cut into the paper so you can utilize the paper more efficiently and also you don't lose the beauty of your actual designer card or your designer paper so what I did was I snipped into the paper like that this is one of the elements on the cutout sheet and um, the aprons as well are elements that are on the cut out sheet and what I did with my elements just to make sure that they are a little bit more firm I actually backed them up with the same card that I used to make my base with and my pockets with and I thought one could either write another recipe on here or you could just write a message to someone if you are giving this to anyone as a gift I did the same with the little tags that come out of the element sheet as well and these all just fit really cute really nicely inside here that's one of the, the little buttons there so if you buy the bulk pack you'll get all these things okay and this is one of the chipboard elements that's in the in the range as well it says our family recipes I love that oh I used a little piece of acetate there as well okay so let me open this for you let's see all right so this is basically 
a three section folio so if I open it up completely I just want to give you an idea of how long it is okay so we've got three sections to it and I'll start on the left hand side so they both have each of the sections has two flaps on either side so you've got a flap here and you've got a flap there you have a flap there sorry that's another additional flap I made so you've got a flap there and you have a flap there and at the base of that it reveals a double belly band or what she calls a stacked belly band so you can put something in there but you've also got another belly band there okay and then what I did with my flaps was I actually incorporated a few belly bands and um, I used certain elements in the um, in the collection I did lots of cutting into papers this comes out of the cutout sheet oh there's some lovely things in there okay so this one I will show you further on in the book where this is like one of a journaling card I think it would be called a journaling card in a different range um, but I love the quote so much and I didn't want to stick it down completely because it's a recipe folio so you want to be able to remove the um, the recipe cards and um, I know Dennis has given us quite a bit of recipe cards but I think I got carried away a little bit so I found some of these um, free printables online um, and I just printed a few because I thought the red goes so well with this collection so that one just got a little tuck spot there and then on this one I just want to slide it across I made a little pocket here and inside we've got a recipe card and I love this because they double sided so it's amazing how they printed this I was trying to figure out how they did it because I would probably never be able to get this dimensions right but anyway so you've got the recipe card on either side and this is why I never stuck anything down because I wanted to be able to use both sides of the of the card and it just slots in there um, another element out of the cutout sheet and then I backed this one as well with the um, with the cardstock just so that it doesn't get all because a lot of my things in the past if I have elements that stick out they tend to become battered and worn over time you know every time you take something out and you put it in you knock against it and it tends to buckle um, so I have reinforced that thing and then here I've left this one blank so you can actually just um, stick a, a little sheet of something here a plain card or whatever and make your own little notes on there or you can stick a photograph of um, something that you have finished and then on this end here I did the same thing these are three separate elements that come out on the cutout sheet and I just stacked them together to create a little tuck spot okay and then on the other side another spot for either a photograph or you can stick down a plain sheet there um, I made a belly band here um, I used craft card craft card for my um, base but I also used up for this um, folio I used two sheets of 12 by 12 I think this is either American cardstock or basil board I had it in my stash um, to to make up for the um, the layers in the album this is also a free printable I found online doesn't really match but um, I printed them so I thought I'll just stick it in here as well and then the smaller cards they come with the space for um, your recipe and then on the reverse you have the directions which is so cute I love that and I think the color combination is awesome so that's the one side and I used both sides of the flaps so this one also has a belly band here I use a lot of belly bands and pockets just so that we can um, 
actually have the cards separate we can remove them and use them and my thought along these lines were once you've written down your recipe um, to actually use um, contact paper and seal down the the card and put contact paper on both sides so that if you touch it with dirty fingers wet fingers or um, floury hands you know you can just wipe it okay so this one I went a little bit differently this comes it's one of the elements on the cutout sheet and I loved this so I thought I would just stick it down partially so that I could just tuck a little recipe card in there and then inside here I made a pocket I like that hot and spicy chili there and I, this was one of my off cuts from either a pocket or one of the um, one of the um, pages I made so you know me I don't like to waste anything so I made a small booklet um, it's magnetized so that it stays closed and then um, let me see I don't want to I'm wondering if you can see it like this. Let me just move this out of the way. So, this is a little book. It's not big at all, and these little cards are tiny. But these, all these bits out of the cut-out sheet, if I raise it slightly, hopefully you can see. I have not stuck them down completely, so they all have a little space for me to tuck something into. Okay, and this was a bit of off cut from one of the sheets and I did the same thing with that and just added the baked with love and what I did was I made it reversible so this one has a belly band here the I've left the gap for the photograph and the I used one of the cut off strips just to create another little tuck spot so and I must I must say mention I used um oh gosh what's that glue now it's called i got it from mari smith at the purple magnolia it is the one that heartfelt creations uses oh the name escapes me right this minute but it's not a cheap glue in terms of cost but i must say you use so little of that glue and it sticks oh gosh i'm going to say it sticks like glue but it really does stick it sticks very very well okay if the name comes to me something dries and clear can't remember the name sorry if you know if you know me on a personal level you will know that my brain um i forget very very quickly so let's carry on so you know, this is the middle section now um let's see so we've got those flaps opening that way again so it's the same process except that this one is done in the portrait orientation now here i decided to go read with my chippy it's his original recipes and it didn't stand out enough so i put some glitter on and i don't think it actually worked i should have rather gone white or a lighter color for my um chipboard piece but it's done so i'm not going to stress much about that but what i like about this one also is that I didn't fall just to make you aware that I didn't put I didn't cut up an entire sheet of um, pattern paper I used a piece there and I used a piece here so in between here there's no paper okay so underneath here there's no pattern paper um, I don't see why we should waste because I could pos I possibly use the bit of off cut here on the other side all right so here we've got this is just a a little what do you call this like a concertina booklet that I just stuck together I didn't have a chance to finish it yet I do have bits of um, cardstock left over to embellish that and possibly stick some recipe cards in there but I just thought I'd show you so you can have the idea that you can put something else inside there and then of course in the stacked belly band you can add your your other recipe cards there as well um, on the other side the same thing I've kept it very simple so your little recipe card will fit in there 
And I think I probably used one of the bigger ones. I think I did cut one down to size to fit in there. It's just gone AWOL for the moment. Okay, and the same thing here like I did on the previous page. And then over here, I did another cut into the paper, which I really love doing because, you know, you look at it like that and you can see the recipe card you take it out and you can experience the whole page i think that's so cool so there we go right so that's the middle piece and then let's go on to the far end um same thing here these this was i think one of the border strips let me see yes it's one of the it's this page here it comes off this page here there's some really nice borders which i have used in the in the in the um in my project um and this is also on the cutout sheet i thought this reminded me of a paper clip so i thought okay let's use it like one and then over here with this one what i was going to do is i created just a little um, a small pocket here an angled pocket and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put some plain card stuck at the back here so I can um, make personal notes in there or write a recipe by hand I think it's really nice if you leave something that you've written yourself um, so you know for your family and your generations to come they can say oh my granny had an awesome handwriting oh ooh, look at that who wrote that okay so leaving a bit of yourself behind here i've done another cut in and the this range i loved so much simply because there were so many opportunities for me to do this i just love this idea i think it's so awesome because once again these cards have are double-sided so you you've got your directions on the one side and you've got your recipe on the other side and they just stack so nicely into the I kept this one simple so you can put directions or photograph there and then um, the knife and fork also comes off the cut out sheet and then here we go I've, I have magnetized some of these where I thought that they needed to stay flat so this one has a magnet and then here I've just I've done the same thing I've just glued down a small piece so that we can create a tuck spot there okay um, let me just open this and make sure you can see the whole page and then on top here we've got another belly band and I utilized every little bit of paper I, I really did I used almost everything and then this kettle is also one of the elements in the cut out sheet i chose not to cut out the handle completely just so that we can actually um, not damage it too much with all the in and out of the of the card but it it does hold the paper quite nicely okay and then of course we have another stacked belly band in the center oh am i in shot yes We've got another stack belly band in the center. So this is based on Kathy Orta's um, tutorial, like I said. The tutorial, um, the, the tutorial is called her Photo Mats and Inserts 1. And this is the insert 5. And I think in that tutorial we get six different inserts that would actually fit into all her albums that she um, makes. And I thought this was so nice, instead of using it as using it as an album insert I would use it as a recipe folio so this is Kathy's version except for all the pockets and tuck spots those are um, not in the tutorial those are the things that I decided to do on my own okay and then another spin that I have on Kathy's idea oh and I wanted to show you this this is one part of the same sheet and that's the other part of the sheet so 112 by 12 covered this front cover and the middle piece and what I did was I used the border um, 
here's the border again and I used uh, this border here to add to the end and I just cut everything down so that when the book closes you see the little red border there because I used the red ribbon that comes in the collection as well and I, I didn't want to see everything I just wanted to see that little red border okay then now this is my own spin on the idea so what I did was I thought oh my gosh you know knowing me I might have more recipes than will fit in here so how about making a pocket so I did a nice deep fat pocket at the back and you can see I've used all my strips that were left over just to make up I ba I based the whole thing on on red so it's your craft card stock there's a red mat and then the um, the bits and pieces that I had my one regret is that I didn't do a cut into this one which would have been so cool but it's done I stuck it down it's too late to cry okay so the other thing that I did with this was let me just move this book out of the way quickly so we can see this is I created another little concertina um, let me see. okay so if I open it like this and I had a red square left so I cut it into uh, diagonally into triangles and what it does then is I've got a tuck spot there I've got a tuck spot there and then at the bottom here this is also one of the strips on the border sheet and so we've got oopsie we've got a tuck, a tuck spot there as well and these, like I said, these red recipe cards match just perfectly. And then on the other side, I did the same thing, except with all the little tabs that come on the cutout sheet. So instead of using them as tabs, which you would normally use in a conventional album, I split them and um, I use them as little tuck areas. So we've got three, and on this small um, sheet, because it closes up quite nicely and quite small we've got space for six recipes on there as well okay and that's my project for this month um, I know it's getting harder and harder every month to come up with something different and something nice so I do hope that you enjoyed a page through my project for this month um, I know I've had people asking me for measurements of the previous one I did. Um, I am working on the notes for that one. And um, I don't know if you can see, but my little file is gaping slightly. Now, I have to resize this thing in terms of making it um, so that it doesn't gape as much. Like I said, Kathy's uh, tutorial doesn't have all the pockets and the little tuck spots in that I've and, and that has created bulk on the inside. So when I do redesign it, I will create a bigger spine um, so that um, it will be more or less the same size except that the spines will be broader so that it won't gape so much. I did show this to a client today and she said, you know what, Shamla, but that's my idea of a recipe book because, um, you know, it looks used and it looks like it's well loved. So maybe you like it this way. I don't know. You can let me know in the comments below. And that's it from me. Until next time. I know I can talk a lot. Sorry about that. Um, until next time. See you inside the space. Bye now.